All right, welcome to Thoughts with Your Bro, uh, The Dumbest Story Never Told Part 4. Um, I kind of already did this uh, episode, um, and it's called The Email Conspiracy. On top of, you know, all the other conspiracies, the name conspiracy, phone conspiracy, right? And, uh, bro, it's funny to say, like, literally, like, laughing out loud to do these episodes because they're the dumbest episodes ever, right? I have done nothing illegal. Don't start anything, uh, not involved in any crime or anything like that. But yet this stuff keeps happening and I'm like, dude, what the, dude, what is wrong with this country, bro? No offense. So you all know my story. I get put on an island, uh, grew up, went to high school. Graduated class of 2004, Gerald A. White. And what's even funnier is everybody knows, too. Everybody knows I graduated in 2004. But yet the story keeps changing. Right? I get set up, arrested for no reason, 15 days in juvie. Then my stuff goes missing and I'm like, where's my stuff? I don't know. We don't know. And I'm like, this is so screwed up, bro. Right? So screwed up. I get set up, arrested, juvie, all my stuff goes missing, and now everybody's lying about me. So I said, you know what, bro? I'm going to go to the East Coast and check it out because this is just too wackadoodle stuff. This is way too much for me. It's stupid. Right? Just a guy trying to live his life. This is stupid, man. So I meant to land in New York. But actually ended up in New Jersey at uh, a company. Um, and I've already showed this too. But what's funny is before I left, um, I opened up a P.O. box. Right? Because I'm a legal U.S. civilian. The only one with the keys. The only one. Everything, bro. And this is why it's absolutely 100% funny. Right? And this is after I invent multiple stuff. LifeLock. Right? That says Gerald White. Multiple inventions. Jer doesn't say anybody else's name. Says my name. Right? Just like on a name tag. When I get a job, I use my own name. Wow. Just like everybody else in this freaking world. Right? So here I have inventions. And then, right, I showed you all my numbers on one of the last videos. And this is hilarious, right? So I create an email account. Hotmail. Right? I start using that, like, inventions and all this stuff. And now everyone was like, that's not his email. And I'm sitting here like, dude, these guys are wackadoodles, bro. Right? So here I have inventions, uh, business names, right? Because this was created... This and this were created before I went to New Jersey. Right? I even went to college. Oh, well, we'll get, we'll get to that later. Right? I even had that business during college. Right? I ordered my own tram skirt multiple places that I lived. But yet, for some reason, now I can't log into those uh, online accounts to prove that I went to college. For some reason. Some weirdo reason. He's a liar. He's a thief. Set him up. Right? So, anyways, we get to, I get to uh, New Jersey, right? I use my own P.O. box uh, or as my address for my pay stubs, right? And this is hilarious because I just opened up Hotmail like a, a long time, like, what was that, 2011? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, like seven years before that, this Get to New Jersey, right? I use my own P.O. box. Right? With the W-2. And this is why it's funny. Right? And at, I, and I'm, I'm sitting there working. And I'm just like, finally, I can live in peace. Holy majoli. 
right? But somebody is so obsessed with my success and, oh, I need to be smarter than him. I need to be him. I need to be Gerald. Right? But this is the thing, though. I didn't have my high school diploma in certain high school stuff when I moved to New Jersey. So who had that stuff? Right? Who had my high school diploma while I was on the East Coast with my high school stuff? So first they stole all my high school sports stuff. Who had my high school diploma then? And someone's like, dude, he's got inventions. He's got uh, a business. He's got, dude, how do we get that? Right? And while working at this place, I opened up a Gmail. I'm like, whatever, I'm going to open up a Gmail. They want to lie about the Hotmail. I'm going to open up a Gmail. Which I've had forever, bro. And it's funny to me, bro. So now not only this, they tried to get something in the San Juans, but now they're trying to get something and they're like, ooh, we're, we, his high school diploma. Dude, we could get rich. We could do so. Oh my gosh, he's got inventions. We could actually cover his lines up and get paid for that. Right? And I'm sitting there, bro. I, 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 bro, I, to be honest with you, I'm the only person in my family with black hair and a red beard. The only person. Right? And I'm sitting there on the East Coast. I'm like, dude, if that was my family, because I was just put on an island that was my family why do they keep stealing my stuff and using stuff you know what i'm saying i mean my bro chachos are my bro chachos but uh you know so i was able to live in peace for a little bit right ended up moving back and this is the stuff i've already showed you ended up moving back meeting a girl and uh you know opening up businesses right but before that, I ended up closing this P.O. box. This is an actual check, as you can see. So before meeting the girl, I closed this P.O. box. And someone said, someone that works at the USPS, one of my friends I went to high school with, who works there, says, somebody was uh, checking your mail. And I said, how? I'm the only one with the keys. She's like, I don't know. We Somebody was checking your mail. So not only have they been using my mail... And this is in multiple places. Now they're just like after something. Right? Cops don't like me for some reason. They're like, yeah, he does. Well, we could use that. And so I'm living my life and now everyone's like, we need to catch him, set him up. He's that, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, dude, what? So the cops are after something. Uh, people are after something. And I'm just like, dude, these, this country's going crazy. Right? So there I am using my own Hotmail and Gmail while married. And this is why it's funny, bro. Somebody, well, actually, we'll, we'll talk about this later on. And this is why it's hilarious. Right? I showed you this. Bank accounts. Marriage certificates. Um, she even emailed my business account. And this is why it's absolutely 100% hilarious. So on my business accounts, right, registered owners, me, there's only one person, one person. Oh, by, check it out. I even have the Facebook to match. Check this out, bro. <laughs> so I mean, uh, the Wells Fargo wallet that I had on the West Coast. And what does this say? This says, Gerald White, P.O. Box 401. Another... Wells Fargo. And if you look, that's the deposit slip that someone filled out, and that's when I opened that account. And that's really not the uh, first Wells Fargo that I've had. <laughs> so meanwhile, I'm using my own, uh, hot, I'm using my own uh, e emails to, you know, network get business
this and that. And I also open up uh, this right here. <laughs> Gerald White LS. Right? Dash LS.com. EIN number, insurance for my employees. And I'm sitting here, everything's going good, and then stuff started going missing. I'm like, oh, oh shit, here we go again. Phones are going missing. Calls are getting covered up. Someone's illegally monitoring. And I'm just like, dude, what the heck is wrong with this country, bro? Right? And if you notice that Gerald A. White at White-LS was on a Facebook page that actually got hacked and repossessed. So that they stole one Facebook page, right? And then we ended up moving. Oh, even I emailed myself my... My own uh, college paper that I had in a group. Right? I'm like, dude, okay. So we move. And now everyone's like, no! That's a girl's bank account. That's a girl's business. That's a, and they did the same thing with the hotmail. That's a girl's hotmail. Those are a girl's phone numbers. That's a girl's invention. That's... And I'm sitting here like, okay. Well, dude, the only person who has access to my stuff while I'm in my relationships... Are women. So I move. We move. And, and, and the marriage ends in a divorce. Because of the harassment. Same as why I left in the first place. Right? Business was perfectly fine. Got to triple the next year. But then all of a sudden, how do we get, how do we get that? How do we make that my stuff? How do we make that? Right? And I had my high school diploma at this place while married. But like I said before, I'm sitting there. Why is all this stuff happening? And who had my high school diploma and my high school stuff while I was on the East Coast? So fast forward into another relationship. I put my name, me and a girl put our names and email addresses on an apartment. Everything was fine until she took off with the kid twice. One time there's a, a phone call on file. That said, yeah, she took off and blah, 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 because we lived in Washington. Like, again, somebody needs something, and a relationship is perfectly fine. And then when something becomes available, psh, they just split. So they take a kid. And not only that, I got the kid back, right? And uh, this time, the cops came over, and they inspected my home place, make sure everything was safe. And they told her she had to leave. Her, and this is the funny part. She didn't take her name off and or move out till after that. And then she ended up taking off with her again. This is why it's funny, bro. Which the courts did not uphold the law, which I filed multiple times, which I already told you. And I'm sitting here. And then now to this day, all those women are like, no, it is this person's email. It is this person's stuff. And it is this person's this, right? And some stuff happened afterwards um, that made it even worse for me. And I'm not like complaining about anything, life's life, but dude, this is just consistent idiocracy, bro. Consistent. So at this time, I'm like, all right, guys, I'm. Uh, I, I was living life in peace on the East Coast. Let's move to the East Coast. I've always wanted to live in New York. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. Bro, and what happens as soon as I get here? He's got that stuff. Oh my gosh. He's, he's got that evidence. He's got this stuff. He's got that stuff. Stuff's getting covered up. A, a Facebook page that I created.
created at this place all of a sudden got closed, deleted. So now that's two Facebook pages. Like I've told you, for no reason. Just because somebody's like, we can. No, you can't, dude. What? These guys are idiots. How do we make money off of his social media? And they're like, Shh, crap, he's doing videos. Everybody knows I'm a so well, I am a social media genius. I'm just doing stupid stuff right now because I do know that somebody is gonna try and take credit for something that I'm doing. Yeah, see, look, I did it all. I did it all. My program did it all. Right? And what else happens? A Wells Fargo gets closed and H and R block and now all of a sudden and I'm like dude what this is happening again these weirdos no that's somebody else's email that's somebody else's hotmail that's somebody else's gmail what are you talking about so I have these idiots running around lying to everybody I mean come on bro lying under oath civilian harassment defamation of character I'm not owned by the freaking government like what is wrong with these people right <laughs> what? And then clothes go missing while I'm at work. The same thing that happened on the West Coast. And I'm like, who is behind this? Who is that obsessed with one person that, oh, he's going to be successful. We need to ruin that and harass his life and ruin his dreams. Or how do we get that? How, how do we get that? Clothes I even had while I was married are now missing. The only way is somebody to break and enter, which, mind you, we already sued the cops for breaking and entering. <laughs> that was before my, or after my stuff went missing, too. Oh, maybe it was before, I, I can't, whatever. But everywhere I go, bro, somebody is lying to somebody. No, that, that's this person's email. I need a way to do that. That's that person's Gmail. That's this person's business. That's that person's. And I'm sitting here like, dude, what? It's the same person the whole time. And everyone like, dude, I'm so baffled, bro. <laughs> and now somebody thinks they're the owner of this email and business. And I'm just sitting there like. Like, dude, can't a guy just live in peace? I mean, I don't want to work for the government. I don't need uh, need to lend anything to cops, ops, uh, and federal government. I don't need to do anything for these people. I have no obligation as a civilian. But they just need to use my stuff to cover up a lie. And everybody else is helping out the liars. Like, why are you helping these idiots out? Phones went missing at literally every place that I've ever lived. Uh, bank accounts get covered up. Phone lines get covered up. I'm a civilian, dude. <laughs> My own family, huh? That's kind of weird. <laughs> the state... And the IRS made a bunch of shit up too. So why would... I grew up in Washington. Why would that change? <laughs> it seems weird to me. So, this is Thoughts with your bro. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. They went through all of my emails and swiped all my emails, bro. Hotmail, Gmail, iClouds, you name it. So many emails went missing that proved a marriage, that proved a sexuality, and that proved that I was at work and or... <laughs> 
all of that stuff went missing, bro. Some, when I got to New York, some when I was on the West Coast. So why is that the same stuff is happening on both coasts and somebody is trying to cover something up? Hot mails, uh, emails from my ex, emails from work. I looked it all up last night too and all the emails that I had are not there now. <laughs> I even emailed on the West Coast my employer at this place, Rosler's, what type of bucket with my hotmail? And they emailed me back and showed me the type of buckets they used for landscaping. But some reason I get to New York and, no, that's not his email. Well, this was all over the country. That's not his email. That's not his hotmail. That's not him. <laughs> what a bunch of weirdos, dude. No offense. Not making fun of anybody, but uh, yikes, bro. <laughs> so this is why I do the dumbest social media because now again, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna get successful at something. I need a way to ruin that and pretend to be him, right? The name on everything doesn't say another name. Nobody's the actual me. That makes no sense. The name on a business, it doesn't say anybody else's name. It says my name. Oh, oh, oh. weirdos, bro. <laughs> and if you think, like, this is why it's funny, bro. When you see an account with a name on it, somebody's like, yep, I'm that guy. What? So how would it be somebody else's name, but it's on that account? Why wouldn't they just use their own name if they owned that account? Ah, oh, man, these guys, weirdos. And not only that, bro, but check this out, too. <laughs> not only that, bro, so this is multiple P.O. boxes that somebody has gone into and stolen a bunch of mail. Right? While I was on the East Coast here, and in Ferndale here. Even have the receipt. 8612. Same thing happened here. A bunch of checks went missing. Before we moved, a bunch of checks went missing. Someone pretending to be the owner of a business. Right? If you look at up all the transactions, everything, you'll, you'll see. It's on there. But that, that somehow, a couple years later, somebody else, this is somebody else's account. I get credit for that. That's, it's me. I'm him. <laughs> so, that's what you, bro. It's just, what a shitty country, bro. Went from b booming to just meow, real quick, bro. Can't even live life in peace no matter where I go without some form of government being like, how do we get that? Set them up, frame them, get them, catch them, arrest them. Their own civilian. Right now, I'm not saying that's true, but what I'm saying is true. That's why it's funny to me. Everything I'm saying is 100% absolutely true. Just what a pathetic, how pathetic, bro. Just can't let someone live his life. <laughs> Not being sexist in any way, but that's, wow, I just proved it. <laughs> I get a driver's license no matter where I get and I get targeted. We're going to beat that program. I'm not a program, bro. I'm a fucking, I'm a civilian. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> so, that's what you brought. <laughs> oh, look. It's a picture I took of you the first time I ever came here. Bye.
Look at you, so young and happy. Where do the years go?